but thanks for joining us and we'll see you in a bit it was awkward that silence was a little bit awkward i don't know should i leave that in the video yeah yeah, yeah i think uh, it's yeah that's a keeper back at it we are traveling again this time we are going to where Matt Parker Lake Parker Lake we are gonna be having a great time at Parker Lake uh, this weekend it's Friday right now so we're gonna have Friday today and Saturday uh, and then we're gonna leave early Sunday morning because we got to get back to the LA area but uh, yeah we're gonna be spending some time at Parker Lake this is gonna be a really this is gonna be a really easy hike for us uh, in comparison to some of the stuff that we've done in the past recently I think uh, I think we're both going to be very happy and uh, enjoying the fact that this is just going to be a relaxing backpacking trip uh, to just yeah do that relax unwind and uh, yeah recharge our batteries before we head back to the hullapaloo of uh, of uh, the LA area. Let me give you a quick tour of our camp. Uh, again, I brought the Skyscape Trekker. This tent has done very, very well for me. I really have been enjoying using this tent. Um, I mean, it's perfect for this kind of a scenario right now. Uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit, but earlier today was really, really hot. So tomorrow when we're gonna be here, it'll be nice to be able to open up all four panels and get a lot of, uh, get a lot of uh, breezy, nice air going through there. Um, so I'm really, really happy that I brought this guy. It's, uh, yeah, this is just the perfect situation for this, uh, for this tent. Over there you see Matt, he's rocking his duplex. Wonderful tent also. I went ahead and, I went ahead and went with the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree quilt this time. Uh, I know we're talking about the Sierra Nevada, but it's pretty doggone warm, so I think that's going to, be able to cover me tonight, especially uh, if I close off, you know, a couple of those panels, keep the wind out. I think it'll probably work out really quite well. And again, I got the Trekology pillow and I'm starting to figure out how to, how to get that thing to stick under my neck. And uh, it's been very comfortable the last few, few times I've been using it. I went ahead and I also brought my uh, barricade. What I did is I actually uh, carried it empty on the way over here. I had it on top of my pack. It can fit in the the uh, Swift X without a problem, but um, just being that I had a few more things, I wanted to go ahead and just put my food in a uh, plastic bag. And I went ahead and I just put that into my backpack and then I just put the empty can on top and it carried on top without any sort of a problem. It was actually a very, very easy system to do. In fact, here's the, uh, the food bag that I carried all the stuff in. So yeah, basically I put my food in my pack like I normally do. And then from there, I'll just uh, do the can on top. One other unique item that I brought with me this time is, is that guy. I've been using that to roll out my leg muscles. If you guys watched a couple of my videos ago, when I was in the Sierra Nevada, I was really struggling with some knee pain and uh, I've been going to the physical therapist for that, trying to get that all situated and fixed up. And uh, yeah, I brought that thing with me. It was a short, short uh, hike, so I thought I could go ahead and bring it in, carry it in without a problem. And lastly, the old butt pad and uh, my cook system that I brought this time, I went ahead and kept sticking with Jetboil. I love the way that thing's been working for me uh, for the last few trips, so I thought why, uh, why change a good thing? So we're gonna be doing Jetboil for the entire, the entire trip. And there it is, the Swift X pack. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't actually show it on video, but that's what I carried over here. Again, this is a very short hike, about a mile and a half, maybe a little bit over a mile and a half over here to Parker Lake, and uh, yeah, having a good time. 
gonna uh, cook up some uh, miso soup. And, you know, that's the last thing I really need right now is to warm up, but I don't know, I just feel like having some miso soup, but that sounds really good. And uh, there is water plenty uh, for us over here to the left at the uh, lake itself. Got some people swimming. We're gonna maybe have some uh, some neighbors tonight, I don't know. But they're, uh, they're in there swimming, they're having a good time. I don't know why uh, they're jumping in, the, the water's ice cold. But uh, yeah, good times. It is dinner time. I am going to have a BRC burrito that uh, Matt made. We got Matt sitting over there in the corner of this frame, uh, hanging out. But uh, yeah, we have a BRC burrito uh, made on the jet boil, and uh, I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I'm pretty excited to eat this thing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of a vlogging information. I don't even know why you guys need that information. In fact, these entire videos are complete and utter shams. I really say the same thing every single time and nothing new. It's not very exciting. Even I've become bored of hearing my own voice. And I love hearing the sound of my own voice. Jeez, what's this world come to? So it was football, <laughs> then soccer. Now they're playing baseball. Got some real sportsmen over there. COVID nothing, dude. They got a full on league going right now. All right, so we have finished our first day here at Parker Lake. Um, it wasn't too much of a gnarly hike as far as like the actual trail itself. But the fact that we started in the middle of the day for the most part, uh, absolutely ate us up and that seems to kind of be 
what's been going on lately with us. It seems like every single time we're, we're out lately, man, the sun's just been eating us alive. I didn't bring my umbrella this time or anything like that. I just made it happen because it was only supposed to be a mile and a half. But uh, yeah, even in that short time, <laughs> we got eaten up. Um, but uh, despite that, we're having a good time. We got some youngsters over there acting, uh, <laughs> acting a little crazy during the day, but they seem to have shut up now. We seem to be the ones that are making most of the noise at this point, but we are having a good time. We are gonna spend tomorrow all day here, just hang out, not do too much. And then, uh, yeah, we're also gonna wake up at 3 a.m. and see if we can get some, uh, some star uh, shots. Right now it's not too good. There's a lot of fires going on. It's kind of hazy and just weird. <coughs> no, I don't have COVID. I just ate a bug earlier and it's trying to kill me from within. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what an odd day today uh, has been. Um, tomorrow should be even better. And then Sunday we're going to skedaddle early. Mm. and uh, But we're going to try to make the most of tomorrow. Matt brought his fishing gear. I'm not much the fisherman, I'm not very good at it. Matt is uh, amazing at it. I fully expect to have a fish dinner tomorrow night. If you don't, I'll be so upset. I, like, I won't even know where to begin to focus oh, my man. ire. Oh man. So, uh oh, uh -oh yeah. <laughs> I got jet planes flying over and stuff. Anywho, enough of my uh, nonsensical ramblings. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. This is day two of our adventure, and uh, breakfast time this morning. A little bit of Quaker Oats action. I've had this on the last few trips I've gone on, and it's worked out quite well. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to a great day of just relaxing and doing a whole bunch of nothing. We got a gigantic block of sugar and maple stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it keto, I guess, huh? Oh, here we are. Final product. I can't really see it. Oh, well. I don't want to tip it over, but it's a little bit soupy, but that's okay. I probably didn't drink enough water yesterday anyway, so. I have a little uh, taster's choice action going right now. Got my coffee running on the, uh, or my water boiling on the jet boil. And then I'm going to have a Belvita. I don't know if you guys have never heard of these things. Uh, learn about them they are absolutely terrific I'm, i've yet to have a bad uh, flavor with Velveeta, so good stuff right here <laughs> 